we will do everything possible to stop Biafra restoration. British, hello viewers, welcome to my noble channel. According to the news today, it's a form of message to everybody. Because British government could not cajole or deceive Mazin Namdekano to drop their agitation after trying several times, more than five times, they have resulted in their so called Plan B. And that is what they are doing in your land, in Biafra land. This is why they have recruited some governors in your land to cause mayhem. This is why they recruited governors in your land to cause havoc, to destroy Biafra land. To make sure that they use criminals, they are creating to encounter every good thing going on in Biafra land. To make sure that they destroy the name of Eastern Security Network. To make sure that they destroy the name of those who are championing for this struggle. To make sure that they bring the name of indigenous people to ridicule. And this is why they have continued to kill innocent people with the help of these two governors that have continued to point hand at. British government can never stop. They are a kind of people who when they start something, they never stop unless something is for is done. They have tried everything possible to catch the gentleman to drop their fragitation. Since he could not listen to them, they resorted in plan B. Like I told you in my previous video, and that plan B is to do everything possible to destroy the Nami Eastern Security Network, is to do everything possible to get the international world to target ESN as a terrorist security outfit. And this is what they are doing as we speak. I told you that this whole thing was planned. And they are doing everything possible to execute it. I also told you that I'll be here watching. Because some of us don't listen. Some of us don't reason. These days, I don't like insulting anybody again. But I will continue to look until everything I've said from the beginning will come to pass. Then you realize that. Some of us are not to be talked with. Some of us are not to overlook. Especially when we say something. Nandi Kano has done everything possible to stop British government from stopping Biafra agitation and referendum. Even the world powers are aware of this. The United Nations are aware of this. The EU are aware of this, what this gentleman went through to make sure that Biafra is restored. And he did. He has continued to bounce them on whatever they have tried. And every way they have tried to make sure that they get him to draw Biafra agitation. Now they have championed everything towards our brothers and sisters in Biafra land. They have bought politicians. They have bought governors. And these governors are using this opportunity 
to cause so much problem in our land, the killing of killing, maiming upon maiming, all this whole killing you are seeing in our land is caused by politicians, they are the ones doing it. Those two governors, I have told you several times that they are the ones causing our predicament, our problem. The whole atrocities happening in Ibunibo land is caused by those men. But they will always put the blame on Eastern Security Network. You should ask yourself this question. Eastern Security Network is in many places. So why is it? It's only Mo State. Enugu State. And Ebony State. That people are going down unnecessarily. Being killed for no reason. This is because these two governors have been the ones doing it. And their collaborators. They wanted to bring it to Abia State with the help of Ojo Zokalo, a man who created fake Bakasi boys several years ago. And we know what he did in Abia State in Ohafia. We know what he did right there. The atrocities he committed right there. Everything happening in our land is the making of a PC government and those collaborating with them. It will be a surprise to you when they will be exposed. You will hear the name of those who have been collaborating with APC government, both the ones in Despera, to cause problems in our land. The killing. They continue to call the name of indigenous. Anytime something happens, those places and you begin to ask yourself we have ESN in several places in different land how come such thing is not happening there because they have all continued to call the name of Eastern Security Network every time something went wrong in our land Biafra land the more is to come worst of it is to come and that worst of it is this election we have made ourselves clear that we don't want to have anything to do with election and we are going to stop anybody by force but just watch and see because whenever people will do pronouncement APC government will use that opportunity to massacre innocent people in our land this is their plan B just to disturb their fragitation. Wait and see. Wait and see. I don't have much thing to say. I will only want you to, to wait and see what is going to happen. Just wait and see. And later, you will say that I said it. I think I've come to the end of this news. Remember, bless. Cheers.